Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video will be discussing about a cool bug bounty tool which is named as Wayback URLs. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. And guys, really really thank you for all your support. You can connect, uh, you can connect with me on Twitter and also on discord so all the links are in the description below and coming to this tool so this tool is named wayback urls and as the name suggests it tries to obtain the urls from the wayback machine so wayback machine uh, you can go to some website like archive.org and you can search for something like a twitter so now we all know how the twitter looks like but if you want to know how the twitter looks like in some different uh, like time zone or in different years or something like that you can just use this website and you can try to uh, find out them and this particular url tries to crawl those urls from the wayback machine and also some basic crawling and stuff okay and uh, this is really cool tool and it is developed by tom nom nom so uh, so he done a lot of good research and also built a lot of good tools uh, which are really useful for the bug bounty so make sure you start it if you feel this uh, repository helpful and coming to this the main requirement here is like make sure you're having go so i'm going to show uh, this particular tool on my linux okay so which is going to be windows subsystem for linux but you can install or you can run this tool on windows or whatever it is like you can install the go like installing go in windows is pretty simple like you get an executable and you can run that and you can add that to the path later and uh, if you want to install the latest version of go in linux so like some people might be saying like i can use my packet ma uh, uh, like my ma packet managers like apt and something like that but uh, they install the old version so Installing a manual way is the best way and you can have good support and uh, if you want you can check out my video the link will be in the description below and uh, let's quickly go back so you can see how they even mentioned how to run this tool as well so I'll show you how to do that so but before that after installing the go so just copy this command here and uh, just paste it so I guess uh, it's not copied so now you can see uh, you get some kind of a weird uh, an emoji or kind of symbol so remove that and just hit enter so and let's move this uh, uh, so it is located in something like cd if you go to cd and go bin and if i do an ls you can see this executable every uh, way back urls executable here so let's move this executable uh, like let's use sudo uh, like i'll tell you why i'm doing this as well so sorry sudo mv Wayback you are uh, sorry today I'm we uh, way back URL so I think I'm getting some issue with the keyboard but that's then fine and sorry for the typos so user and bin so like you don't need to always go to this location like uh, this go bin and you don't need to run this way back URL so if I do a CD and I can run this way back uh, URLs from anywhere okay if I do hyphen hyphen help uh, okay so you can see uh, you can see the get version something like that okay so but uh, you can do something quickly simply something like this guys so way back uh, urls and you can put something like uh, twitter.com for example and uh, like this is not a recommended way like you are only using one domain of uh, twitter.com but there are different and lot of domains of twitter.com or google or whatever it is so i'll try to show this on something simple so way back urls uh, test uh, php dot uh, one web dot com let's run this thing so it is going to take some time and you can see some urls are getting popped up here so it tries to crawl some urls and it tries to get to some some of the urls from the previous versions like previous versions through the help of uh, wayback machine so that's a good thing and you can save it okay you can save by using some kind of uh, greater than symbol or like you can use anything like you can use some piping or you can do whatever you want and you can do that stuff but uh, how i generally use it is simple so let's so now what we can do is like let's create some kind of uh, let's choose a target which is simple so which is going to be oneweb.com so oneweb is like a test website by acunetic so let's run the sub finder okay and hyphen d and let's put something like uh, oneweb.com and let's put this to uh, like uh, let us assume something like uh, subs or txt or something like that and let me hit enter and uh, it is going to like you can it fetched some few of the few urls uh, subdomains like 33 subdomains the reason i choose this particular thing is like this wayback urls take a lot of time so and this wayback urls like will even uh, like it even hungs up your machine sometimes so that's the reason i'm taking this but make sure you are uh, 
while you are running it on some live targets make sure you are spending some amount of time so if i do an ls here now we can see there is a subs.txt so what we can do is simple so cat okay subs.txt and uh, let's uh, pipe that output to uh, way back urls and let me hit enter so now you can see it tries to find out some uh, urls like related to all the subdomains that are available now you can see it hungs up sometime but uh, leave that like that okay and what you can do is like you can uh, save all these urls in some kind of a file and uh, you can search for some you can grab them for some kind of uh, api keys tokens or some kind of sensitive information so i uh, found some of some javascript files while uh, i use this way back urls and those javascript files are so uh, they contain some juicy information like they can they contain some api tokens and stuff some of them are not that are not that useful like they, those are not that useful api tokens but some might be uh, some private or which should not be disclosed okay so uh, like let me do control c but if you want to save the output so you can pipe again you can pipe the output from the wayback urls to something like a t or you can just pass it like with the help of a greater than symbol or whatever it is so let me do t and uh, let me do something like a uh, way back uh, uh, way back uh, sorry way back dot text let me hit enter so it is going to uh, store all the output here okay so i'll do a control c and we got some couple of files here so let's put add the way back urls and stuff now you can see we got some files here so what you can do is like you can uh, uh, you can grab some for some important information like grab uh, something like uh, users for example okay a user for example like you can grab for some information like you can grab for api keys okay uh, you can grab for something like passwords okay like you can try to grab for some information and sometimes you might find this uh, information useful so you can open this url and you can see what it is uh, all about so you can open this and let's see it is not working so that's fine but sometimes if it works it is definitely going to work fine like most of the time most of the urls that you might be seeing might not always be uh, vulnerable like sometimes some of them might be got reported already or some might be having like like they might be disclosing that but like they might be closing that url so anything might happen but it's really a good tool like uh like i uh, during the recon phase i generally use this particular tool so that i can find some urls and like if i find most of the time you can find the api keys or sometimes even so there is a report where i read like a person was able to find out like for two-factor authentication you will get some kind of a qr code so you need to scan that qr code with the help of an authenticator or microsoft authenticator or something like that and the person was able to find out the qr code and uh, he got access to the uh, some a person accounts uh, two-factor authentication codes like you all know like if you use authenticator so for every some some amount of time you can see a six digit otp is getting generated and uh, a person a hacker was able to find out that and it's really uh, sensitive so and he got rewarded some with some good amount so like i'm not saying that this is uh, only like uh, like the one of the best tool or something like that but you can make use of this particular tool and you can report some uh, uh, vulnerabilities which might be easy like vulnerabilities in the sense like information disclosure or something like that and uh, and also make sure before reporting so make sure you are uh, the uh, like make sure you validate those reports okay and even check them whether they those are duplicate or not so that is it guys for this video if you uh, like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you